Hello, my name is Shoeless Joe, and today I want to talk with you about the Catholic Church versus the Christmas season, or more specifically, the American Christmas season. So at least here in the U.S., two things happen once the holiday of Thanksgiving ends. Once Thanksgiving ends that last uh, Thursday there in November, what happens in the U.S. in the secular realm is Christmas season begins. And in the Catholic world, Advent season begins. And there's a difference between those two things. So if you are primarily American more than you are Catholic, you're going to start celebrating Christmas. You're going to start putting up Christmas decorations, singing Christmas carols, you know, whatever, having Christmas parties, whatever celebrating Christmas uh, means in America, a lot of that is buying present presents, right? That's why we have Black Friday to begin with. So Christmas season begins in America. However, in the Catholic world, Advent season begins. And it's very, very different from this American Christmas season, from this secular Christmas season. What Advent is all about is a stripping down. A preparing in your heart for the coming of Christ. And there's a dual role here. We're not only preparing for Christ um, as he already came in the nativity, right? Christ as the word made flesh, being born as man. Um, Jesus the Christ, Yeshua, when he came to earth. We're celebrating that, but we're also preparing our hearts for the second coming. When Christ is going to come again into the world. And we don't know when that's going to happen. So every year we kind of reorient ourselves towards preparing for Christ's second coming. It's a very beautiful, beautiful season. And we celebrate, it's a purple season. Purple for preparation is how I think of it, right? So we're preparing our hearts. So rather than a lot of getting and uh, creating, which is what kind of happens in the secular Christmas season, right? We're buying things, we're making things, we're having parties. That's all happening in the secular realm. But as Catholics, we're called to slow down, to take away, to remove things. This is a great time to purge ourselves of maybe bad habits or sins we're falling into. Re go and receive the sacrament of reconciliation. Come to our Lord and say, I want to prepare a space in my heart for you. And we can do that in a spiritual way through prayer, through sacrifice, fasting, those types of things, almsgiving, and I strongly encourage all of those things. And a lot of times we don't think about that, right? We might throw some extra money um, at the poor or something like that, but we don't necessarily, are we fasting? The church actually used to have periods of fasting within Advent. Okay, Advent actually used to be, it's purple season, just like Lent is. And it's not as sacrificial as Lent is, but it still re requires an element of sacrifice because we're preparing ourselves for the celebration. We shouldn't be celebrating yet. Okay, so a lot of us here in the U.S., through no fault of our own, who ended up, uh, we've ended up more as Catholic Americans than we did as American Catholics. Okay, we need to be asking ourselves, am I an American who just happens to be Catholic? You know, one other type of American? Or am I a Catholic who just happens to be American? A Catholic first and foremost who happened to be born into this country. And we can see that reflected in the way that we celebrate and prepare for Christmas. Okay, just look around at the decorations in your house. What do they look like? Are they celebrating Christmas already or are they preparing for Christmas? Do we have a lot of secular decorations? I don't know, reindeer, Santa, you know, Christmas trees, things that are either neutral or just, you know, not very Christian, really. And we might have a nativity scene, right? But is it just one other element? Can someone walk into our house and say, wow, you are obviously celebrating the birth of Christ and nothing else? Or does it just look like a typical um, sort of American scene? And I'm not saying that there's anything uh, wrong, per se, about putting up reindeer, Santa, things like that, right? A lot of times people will say, well, you know, what's wrong with those things? That's how I celebrate Christmas. But why? Why is that how you celebrate Christmas? Okay, it's so important. I talk a lot about questioning everything, right? You have to question why you do things. 
And the easy way to do that, simple way to do that, is to just strip away everything that you already do. So pretend like you've never celebrated Christmas before, right? You've never seen how people in your country, in your area, in your culture, you don't know how they celebrate Christmas. Just pretend you have no idea. Now tell yourself the story of Christ, right? The birth of Christ, the second coming of Christ. How am I going to celebrate that? How would I prepare my heart for that and then celebrate it if I had never seen how anyone celebrates? Something tells me you wouldn't start hanging up reindeer and Christmas trees. Okay, so that's not to say uh, you have to completely cut all that out, especially not necessarily your first Christmas when you're starting to actually question these things. Just start thinking, how can I um, maybe prepare more for Christmas through the Advent season rather than celebrating right away? So maybe I'm going to put out my same exact Christmas decorations but I'm going to wait until after the Christmas season starts, which is after Christmas Mass, then I'm going to put it all up. So maybe I'll have the same decorations. Or maybe, you know what, I still like putting up decorations to help me prepare, get me thinking about Christmas and the Advent season, but I'm going to hold off on the sort of non-Christmas, or sort of non-Christian, more secular decorations. And I'm just going to focus more on the decorations that are focused on the birth of Christ. You know, maybe when I'm going to put up my nativity, what we do with our nativity, we still put, put it up in the Advent season, but we don't put Jesus or any of the people who are there yet because Christ hasn't happened yet, right? So right now it's just a barn with animals. So we'll set that up, just kind of preparing our minds for Christmas. So you just want to be thinking um, sort of outside the box. Ignore what the, the culture does, right? Ignore the TV commercials and all that stuff and think, how can I prepare my heart for the coming of Christ? And how can I do that through my prayer life, through my eating habits, maybe fasting, sacrifice? And how can I do that with the way that I decorate my surroundings, right? Because it's going to make a really big mental difference. And for a lot of people, especially in the United States, I feel like a lot of times it ends up into a big letdown after Christmas. The minute Christmas Day happens, you know, we've had all the parties already. The parties are done after Christmas Day. The tree's been up for a while now. The decorations have all been up for a while now. A lot of people will take their decorations down the day after Christmas or the day after New Year's or something like that. But it's the opposite for us. As Catholics, our Christmas season begins with Christmas Day. And it goes on past all those other days. So we want to start. We don't want it to kind of be like, oh yeah, well we've had the decorations up for a while already. Okay? So I would suggest finding a way to give that big... Um, kind of celebration, explosion of decorations or whatever it is on Christmas Day and lasting it for after. But again, you don't have to make a huge change right now. We, we don't all make big changes right away. Just start questioning yourself and thinking, what are some little ways that I can make a difference? What are some ways uh, that we can sort of change how we celebrate Advent and make that different from how we celebrate Christmas? So I hope this has uh, been helpful for you, just starting to think about different ways. We're going to be talking um, about Christmas here throughout the month of December because I think it's really important the way that we um, think about our rituals, celebrate our rituals, especially when it comes to rituals directly um, dedicated to and focused on Yeshua the Christ. So uh, next week we are going to be also continuing our discussion on Christmas and we will be talking about this guy. So be forewarned. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. Love you. Bye.